Alright, so you're looking to make your first slot car. You've seen pictures online of like crazy cars, you've seen all the meets, you've seen all the edits, you've seen everything. And you want to get started in making your own. The first thing you're going to want to do is import. So you can import from Assetto Corsa, you can import from BeamNG, GTA, FarmSim. You can even like make your own models. But the most common way to import would probably be from BeamNG because the models are usually higher quality you can make work indoors lights and all that so for like a good website to download mods you probably want to go on modland modland.net pick beam and g and sort two cars and you can look through and find a model you think looks good if you want to look at the most downloaded ones are like the most popular mods you go to sort by downloads and it shows you the highest downloaded mods all right so i found this gtr we'll do this you can go down here to where it says files click this wait for this to load click that click this let it generate download link Click download, close the first pop-up, then it should show up. All right, so while that's downloading, what uh what you should do is go to your desktop, right click, new, make a folder, name it whatever you want, right click it and pin it to quick access so it'll show up right here. So with that download, we're gonna wanna click it extract browse go down to that file or that folder you just made select folder extract okay now that it's here you're gonna go ahead and open it vehicles once you see all these crazy files you go to search DAE you're gonna select the biggest one which looks like it's this one drag it into that folder you just made should show up here. Now you're gonna go ahead and want to, or you're gonna go ahead and open Blender. So you got Blender open. Select over all this. Go ahead and delete it. Then you're gonna to go to File, Import, DAE, and then find that folder you just made. Click on your DAE file, and import. Okay. Now it looks crazy as hell but this is normal this is just all the different body kits and configurations you can have for it so really all you need to do is just go through it and pick what you want and don't want and to do that to like if you want to look at all the parts instead of just deleting stuff you press g x and you can move everything across the line and once you find the hood or whatever part you want to put it back like say I want this hood you go over here where that yellow square is click your this shows all your location stuff and to set stuff to where it needs to be you just make sure everything's at zero so this says negative two or whatever and you put that to zero and then it puts it right where it needs to be so I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward all this but just do that until you found what you want Alright, so now that we have everything to how we want it to be, everything is off that we don't want it to be there, you're going to want to press A, tab, A again, then right click, separate by material. So this just separates the car to where certain parts are joined together, they, I don't know, it's hard to explain. Like, it would make it so when you click on this, if you colored this black, it wouldn't color this black too, you know? I don't know, it's hard to explain. But, anyway, this should be good. Or no, one last thing. You wanna go up here, click 
click that click statistics so this is 200,000 triangles that's the TRI count that you see you're gonna click on the first thing up here in the Explorer and you'll see it says it's 112 out of 200,000 triangles so you're gonna want to just click that and then go through if you see anything over 20,000 you're gonna want to decimate it and I'll show you how to do that okay so nothing ended up being over 20k which is good but if you do end up running into something that is you're gonna want to just select it go over here click the wrench right here click add modifier generate decimate and then from here you can select this and move it and it you can see it makes the model worse but it lowers the try count see it's 2,000 here if I put that back up it goes up to 4,000 so you can just mess with that try to lower it without it looking bad but you know it's not always gonna be perfect but from there once you've figured out everything is under 20k you have everything separated everything's how you want it to be you're gonna want to press a file export and you can either do GLB or FBX I recommend GLB though you're gonna to want to find that folder we were using earlier and you can just name it whatever you want R35 and then export so that should export pretty quickly then you're gonna to want to hop in your studio and then go to home and then right here where it says import 3d you're gonna click that Go find your folder, click on your uh, file you just exported, that'll open it, and here it is. So from here you're going to want to press anchored, which you don't really need to do, but it just is helpful. Then import, alright so once that's imported it'll show up here, it's going to look pretty small. But from here, uh, I'd go to scale and put that to four, and that should scale it pretty appropriately. From here, just go ahead and make sure it's anchored. It'll show all this crap. You're going to want to just select over all of it. Right click and ungroup. Go ahead and come down here to your properties. Make sure everything is double sided. Can collide is off and then I'm just gonna make it smooth plastic alright all right, so basically once you're done with importing it and all that you're gonna need a texture but that's a whole nother process itself so I'll just show you that in the next video but yeah for now you're pretty much done importing so yeah enjoy <laughs>